This is the chest supported row for the middle back, so the rear delts, trapezius, and rhomboids. All this exercise requires is a pair of dumbbells and a sturdy and stable bench. For this setup, adjust the incline of the bench so that it is around 20 to 30 degrees. If it's your first time doing this exercise, I would recommend trying out a couple of different inclines within that 20 to 30 degree range to determine which angle feels the best for you and allows you to feel it most in the back. To get into position, have the dumbbells on the ground underneath the bench, then lay onto the bench with those legs out and those feet on the ground like this. You can also place a couple of weight plates onto the ground for added stability for the feet, or you can even place the knees on the bench if your bench is long enough. Grab one dumbbell and then the other, and we're using a semi pronated grip with the hands angled at 45 degrees, making sure to keep this angle with the hands for the entire movement, and as you're going back, those arms while still coming out at a 45 degree angle with the torso as well. To initiate the movement, using a firm grip on the handle and leaning with the pinkies and the elbows bring those dumbbells up towards the ceiling with the arms coming out to the side at a 45 degree angle with the torso like this and as you row up drive the chest into the bench to be able to squeeze those traps and rhomboids in the middle of the back and make sure you get a pause at the top as you go back down think like you are still pulling upwards towards the ceiling with the elbows to better keep tension in the back and also think like you're slightly pushing those dumbbells a little bit apart and you'll feel a lot better tension through those rear delts and as always two to three seconds on that way down during the eccentric allow those shoulders to slightly round forward to better lengthen those traps and rhomboids like this and just as the arms become fully extended row back up again Remember, lead the row up with the elbows and the pinkies, keeping those knuckles in line with the wrists. And as you row up, also think like you're pushing those elbows slightly apart as you row up. Avoid pushing the head down as you row. Looking forward with the eyes can help prevent pushing that head down significantly. As you get closer to failure, you will likely not be able to bring those dumbbells up as high as you did in the beginning, and that is okay. Just avoid using a lot of momentum and leaning back with the torso excessively, and still try to get a pause at the top on those last few reps. After you're done, carefully set those dumbbells on the ground and bring yourself up with the arms. Mistakes you want to avoid is using a neutral grip as this will take tension off of the middle back and into the lats. Make sure to keep those hands at a 45 degree angle. Avoid curling the dumbbells up with the wrists like this. This will use a lot more of the forearm and biceps, so make sure to keep those knuckles and wrists straight, pulling with the pinkies. And lastly, avoid leaning back excessively as you row. Remember to push that chest into the bench as you bring those elbows up. Go ahead and like this video and subscribe so I can keep making tutorials just like this one. See ya!